One of the more fascinating things about our physiology that I learn about on a pretty regular basis is the fact that we have bacteria and viruses and yeast and germs and things living inside us perpetually in a symbiotic relationship. And without these bugs, and I'm referring to probiotics, without these bugs, we wouldn't be here. I'm Dr. Andrew Neville, and I specialize in treating adrenal fatigue. But one of the things I use in my practice on a relatively regular basis is actually probiotics, right? Capsules or powders of these good, beneficial bacteria and things um, that should be living in our gut. Now, so it is a fascinating thing to me that we wouldn't be here if we didn't have all this, this microbiome is what we call it, right? This, this myriad of of a variety of species and genus and um, trillions and trillions of of uh, a combination of bacteria and viruses and even parasites and yeast and things like that living in our gut in this nice symbiotic balanced relationship, right? Without which we wouldn't be able to activate certain uh, vitamins. We wouldn't be able to um, create actually some of our neurotransmitters even serotonin, especially, right? A bunch, if not most of your serotonin is actually manufactured in the gut by that microbiome. It still blows my mind, blows my mind to this day. Now, this is a living kind of um, environment, right? That is actually quite vulnerable to, to the, our external world, right? To our external environment. One of the more typical examples is antibiotics, right? So we take an antibiotic to kill some bacteria, right, which at times is necessary. Yes, they're probably overprescribed, but at times it's necessary. But that antibiotic is not just going to kill that particular germ. It's also going to kill a bunch of the, the good bacteria that we have in our gut. So when we do that, we want to, a lot of people can develop antibiotic-associated diarrhea as a result of this dysbiosis that's caused by killing off a bunch of this bacteria. So you want to take, right, you can take some probiotics to help and assist, you know, with that specific injury. One of the other things that people don't consider necessarily as an insult to your bacterial, that microbiome, is the effect of stress on that environment. Stress over time, in so many different ways, will compromise not just the gut, but the digestion from the top down, and what ensues over time is an imbalance in that, that microflora within the gut, whether we call it dysbiosis or we call it, uh, we have a fancy new word, a term called SIBO, right? Which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which just means dysbiosis in the small intestine. And in fact, you get this dysbiosis throughout um, there, you know, we used to think the stomach was sterile. It's not. There's germs and bacteria, things like that in the stomach, in the small intestine, large, it's everywhere. Um, or people talk about intestinal candidiasis. Of course, you have all these crazy symptoms. You have candida in your gut. You have a candida overgrowth. Yeah, probably do. Most of my patients do. But that's not the cause, right? Is it the candida that causes these signs and symptoms we associate? Or is it a deeper underlying cause that causes the vulnerability to candida and also causes these symptoms like adrenal fatigue or a chronically active stress response? When my patients, right, because I hear about their stories as to uh, how they've been treated over the years, they chase after candida again and again, multiple times a year, do these cleanses, detox, but they have to keep doing it. If you have to keep treating yourself like that, then there's a deeper, there's an underlying problem, right? Now, that said, while we're fixing the stress response system dysfunction, um, probiotics is absolutely something that I will use supplementally. I'll be straight with you. I've been disappointed by the vast majority of probiotics I've ever given to patients. I have landed on one that I'm pretty, uh, pretty comfortable with um, after doing some research with a colleague that is high quality, high strain, high uh, uh, multiple strain, 10 to 12 different strains and um, high quantity. Right. So, you know, I'll use 100 to 200 billion of these multi strain probiotics basically to support that system, support that environment, that bacterial environment, try to bring it back into the balance while 
we do what we can to shift that underlying physiology, right? So I don't use probiotics in everybody, but absolutely it can be a useful tool to support, but you have to, uh, you might have to test out a few different ones on your own. Um, and certainly if you, if you checked us out, you can find out the ones uh, that I recommend as well. Good luck.